Hi, I'm Wild Bill, and this is an Artistic Streams of Consciousness vlog for the 10th of February, 2024. People want to know why we don't wrestle on TV. Well, a picture's worth a thousand words. Roddy Piper in pro wrestling, the WWF in those days. I merely quote this for uh, educational purposes. But I understood what he meant. And that's how I feel about playing in bands. In bed at 10.30 p.m., up at 6 a.m., I awoke saying my father's name. No dream attached. Singular. The line between dreams and reality phrase, Kanashibari, ghost paralysis, is intermittently broken to follow some deep desire from my sleeping self. I am literally living the dream in the here and now. Transitions are less distinct than ever they were. It's not so much disturbing as it is a new dimension of being. I may be crossing a line of the sort ancient shamans saw as their road to enlightenment. Carlos Castaneda, an astute student of the human condition, would have said I was embracing the Nagual, that some of all the things we don't know can't quantify. The subconscious, the muse, the right brain. It is there, he said, that real power lies. According to his universal shamanistic system, I am no longer an apprentice struggling to make sense of his surroundings. I have somehow become a journeyman wizard. To put it colloquially, I threw myself at the ground and missed. That's how one learns to fly. Ask Peter Pan or Arthur Dent. So I got that going for me. Bill Murray, Groundhog Day. I am no creature of great and terrible power, mind you, but I am fit to scamper about the feet of the mighty, a fledgling hero, to put a favorable spin on it. With that said, I freely enter the world once more. I read emails from a best beloved. I audited yesterday's takes. I watched some documentaries, listened to an animated movie while I sat eyes closed, thinking about today's session, if there will be one. I really want a good copy of Take 5 in my musical Rolodex. That way, when I post a Covers Day show, which I do from time to time on Facebook, I have performances reminiscent of some steep musical mountainside in my ready repertoire. Why I don't work in bands. I did my time. I worked with others through many disagreements, backstabs, philanderings, heroin addiction, footprints on my neck. I can't think back to a single in-band performance I'd like to revisit in fond memory. I live in the present, musically speaking. Yeah, I know. Maybe the next one will. I'll hold the ball, Charlie Brown. In my view, the band is a stage everyone goes through if he or she can work as a team player. Ultimately, however, a band becomes a king in his or her court. Otherwise, arguments about direction, which venues to canvas, what crowd or demographic to target, tear it all apart. Read your history, Fleetwood Mac, The Beatles, Pink Floyd, Cream, Blind Faith, Van Halen, arguments over or thus attributed to those things I laid out earlier destroyed them. The exceptions, Emerson, Lucky Palmer, yes, prove the rule. A lot of what we think of as classic acts are amalgams of session or performing musicians working under a leader, sometimes a tyrant, uh, Van Morrison, Jethro Tull, Curtis Mayfield, Frank Zappa, The Jackson Five, Bella and the Flectones, Elton John, Jim Croce. One superstar and a bunch of nameless, and sometimes not so nameless, guys, plug-in players, working a job for money. Who gets the dividends? The one, not the many. Chuck Berry, for example, isn't the four guys whose names rattle off the tongue. It's Chuck Berry and three session musicians. Otherwise, conflicts between equals tears it all apart. Why obsess on the social crises, Bill? Why not buckle down and do a job for the team? Again. It's not all about you, you know. Because in art, both the ride and the destination matter. If you end up with your success being tangled up in memories you hate, you lose. I want to be able to sit on the veranda with my mates, bragging to folks who know it to be truth, hearing them brag in return and knowing it to be truth. In my view, and I am one man's opinion, making money with folks you end up hating 
in effect, hating all the memories of those times, cutting off decades of memories due to unpleasant associations because those you hate are part and parcel of those memories, means you've lost the game. It turns out some, turns some very talented folks into mean drunks, the one person no one likes to have around, except in bad Western movies. Collaborate with friends at the Starlight on Wednesday? Sure. Prickly as I am, I will on occasion do that if I think my addition will benefit the presentation. It might not, in which case I should not contribute. But spend all my artistic time learning other folks' music, denying mine, the story of my life repeated forever? Never. Never. Never again. Wild Bill, 10th of February, 2024. An artistic stream of consciousness.